So um, I jumped in. I found some studies uh, that where uh, CRP can be acutely lowered for a variety of different things. Um, one, I think, was the, endo- the exogenous administration of cortisol, uh, prednisone. So you can reduce um, temporarily, but your body could also induce um, uh, uh, C-reactive, lower uh, C- C-reactive protein uh, through uh, endogenous production of cortisol from like sprinting. So sprinting will increase your cortisol, but then it drops it in, in, a, in a lower lower manner afterwards as, as a benefit. But depending on those timings, so you know the confluence of all these, these other factors can come together, Thomas, and cause somebody to have a lower level of C-reactive protein that um, might give them false reassurance that because my level at this particular point in time was low, that that means I'm good. Meanwhile, hanging out around the heart is this huge chunk of inflammatory fat that continues to grow unbeknownst to them, directly causing disease into those coronary arteries mm-hmm. where that important interface is happening, where that inflammatory fat is surrounding both the arteries on the outside of the, the heart and the myocardium. Yeah, I mean, you're having a, uh, essentially a direct infiltration of these macrophages that are because of immune system activation around the heart. So I mean, right. it, yes, it could result in like a systemic, you know, higher circulating CRP, but at the same time, like it's going right to the source anyway. It's going right to where we would all fear that a high CRP would lead us to anyway, right? 